left. Oh, crap. You're welcome. Pussy. Excuse me? Oh, chill. I'm a me, not you. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. You just implied being weak and shitty at video games was akin to having a pussy. No, I, I didn't mean that. That's what words mean, Will. Look, whatever. You can hate on pussies if you want, but I'm not playing your game. Mario. Oh, crap. <laughs> associated with weakness. Like, vaginas do so much. They bleed on the rake, and we all came from pussies. Like, that is no insult. I take it back. You're a dick one. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> hey, how do you think you did on that test? That test literally just raped me. Are you serious? Yeah, man, I wasn't prepared at all. No, I mean, do you understand what you just said? How does one of Dr. Robux, like, trick multiple choice questions even compare to the traumatic experience of sexual assault? What if, what if there was a survivor in our class and they heard you say that? How do you think that would make them feel? Jeez, man, you're right, I'm sorry. It's fine, I'm just sick of hearing stuff like that. Also, I just failed the test. I feel that. I'll see you guys later. Dang, she works fast. It's not the only thing she does fast. Uh, what do you mean? Lynn's a total slut. Oh, come on! What? You're gonna dress like that and not expect people to call you a slut? That's one of the most ignorant things I've ever heard. By calling her a slut, you're buying into a terribly misogynistic system, and you're acting as if her body and her outfit just exist for men to look at. You're stigmatizing sex and endorsing a terrible double standard about female sexuality. I, there's just so much going on there. You'd think for a writer that you'd be more careful with your words. This is the CBS Evening News. This just in. Correspondents at the White House are reporting that a new executive order has been signed by the President. The order will protect small business owners' rights to consider pregnancy a pre-existing condition and deny applications on these grounds. This news breaks right after last week's controversy in which recordings of the President referring to an undisclosed female ambassador in a derogatory way were released. Opposers to the order are linking this behind-closed-doors attitude to the new policy, while supporters look forward to economic benefits.